Hi, my name is Jonathan. I came from SK Telecom. What I'm about to show you today is a tool called T Oven. It's a baking tool which one can use to dynamically build network services on top of virtualized resources. More formally, this is NFB Network Service Orchestrator, and this is a collaboration effort between SK Telecom, HP, Samsung, and Techware. And this is our demonstration. On the screen, we have the uh, front end interface to our tool, T-Oven. And once you log in, what happens is you, you see a set of inter uh, menus where you can uh, actually do things. And before actually baking a network service, what you have to do is you have to go through this one-time initial process where you um, register underlying resources, such as uh, VIMs and VNF managers that are used to um, effectively manage underlying virtualized resources, as well as uh, virtualized functions, uh, respectively. So here, you, you go under this menu and click VIM. What happens is, uh, to save time, I, I pre-registered uh, some of the VIMs. And, and here, you, we have a set of um, third-party VIMs, such as HP, uh, Telcoware, and Samsung. Once you do that, um, T-Oven becomes aware of the virtualized resources, uh, as shown here. Under Telcoware VIM, you have uh, so-and-so, such-and-such uh, number of cores, and, and 53 of them are used. And, and same thing for the memory and, and disk. Once you register the uh, necessary resources, what you do then is you create. So before making the, the network service, you will have to register a set of ingredients to, to make that service, right? So this is, where, uh, this is the menu where you do that. Um, if you see it, there's a list of virtualized functions to uh, make up a network service. And in our case, we're baking a LTE as a service, network service, and these are uh, VNFs uh, that comprises that LTE as a service, such as virtualized EPC and virtualized I uh, IMS. So for example, if I click one of the VNFs, you will see different topologies within it, and also you can design your VNF depending on the capacity. To process more power, add more traffic, there are now uh, three VNF components. So once you register all the ingredients for your final uh, dish, you now go to the network catalog and actually create a network service using this canvas. So when you click this edit button, what happens is the user is provided with this canvas and the list of VNFs that were registered. So what you can do is choose whichever VNF that you'd like to include in your topology and create a network service like this. So there are additional steps uh, to uh, add more detailed information, but for the sake of time, I'll just skip it and go to the part where you'd instantiate the service. You do that under NS, uh, NFV instance. If you click the instantiation button, then all the uh, VNFs that you designed, you included in the network service topology, will be rolled out and, and actually instantiated on top of the virtualized resources. So that's, that's the quick introduction of how you design and deploy a network service on top of the virtualized resources using this tool.